Hello. My friends. With you MD. From everything PS. Today we are in a new tutorial. In our Premiere Pro course. Do you want to know? How to set audio level for multiple clips. In Premiere Pro. Then you are in the right place to be. Now. Let's start our tutorial. For this tutorial. I am using the Premiere Pro project file. 0903. Set audio level for multiple clips. You will find this project file. With the media associated with this tutorial. You can download it from the link down below in the description box. Just double click on the project file. To open it in Premiere Pro. When making adjustments to audio levels. You are sometimes gonna have a whole batch of clips. That you want to change. Sometimes, you want to make one standard adjustment to a group of clips. Like music tracks, which are generally too loud to be useful in an edited sequence. Sometimes, you want to make sure multiple sections of speech have the same level. And let's look at both of these in practice. In the project panel, I have three music clips. And they all have different levels. I will open one of these up in the source monitor. By double clicking on it. You can see the waveform in the source monitor. As you probably know already. When you see a waveform. The taller the waveform. The louder the music is. At that point in time. I'm going to select all three of these clips. I'm just lassoing them here in the project panel. You could just as easily make a shift key selection. List selection. And now, with them selected, I'm gonna go to the clip menu. I'm gonna choose audio options. And audio gain. I'm going to allow Premiere Pro. To automatically analyze the audio level for these clips. To make sure they match a level that I want. For my sequence. To do that. I'm gonna go to normalize all peaks too. And I'm gonna type in. What's generally a good number. To start with. Minus 18. DB. I'll click OK, and you can see right away, that waveform's shorter. I'll double click on a couple of other clips here. And you can see they all have, that smaller waveform. So, now we're ready to use these clips, without overwhelming the soundtrack. That's a quick workflow. When you have multiple clips in the project panel. But what about if you have clips already in a sequence? Here we've got multiple voiceover clips. And they seem to have different levels. You can see the waveforms are different heights. I'll play back the first two. The land of the eternal spring. It's clear that these were recorded at different volumes and we want them to match. I'm going to go to the audio workspace. And I'm going to select all of these clips together. I'm just going to click and lasso across to select all of them. Now in the Essential Sound panel, I'll choose Dialog, Loudness, and click Auto Match. Right away, you can see those waveforms have changed. 
and all of the clips now match. Let's listen to those first two voiceover clips again. This is my story of returning home. To the land of the eternal spring. Perfect. Now that I have all these clips selected in the sequence, I can right click if I want on any of them, go to audio gain and use the same options as I found in the project panel to normalize and automatically adjusts the audio level for the clips here. I just cancel out of this dialogue for now. And now that I finished making this audio adjustment, I'm going to go back to the editing workspace to continue working on my project. This kind of automatic audio level adjustment can be a huge time saver and makes sure you have the right settings for your soundtrack. Here we go. We are done for today. Now, let's see what you learned. In this tutorial, change volume for multiple clips. To change the volume for several clips at once in the project panel, select the clips and choose clip. Audio options. Audio gain. In the audio gain dialog box, choose normalize all peaks to set a new volume 18. DB is popular for music, and click OK. The level of all the selected clips is adjusted automatically to match the volume you chose. Use the Essential Sound panel to change the volume for multiple dialogue clips already edited into a sequence. Select the clips and choose the dialogue option in the Essential Sound panel. In the Loudness section, click Auto Match. The clips will all be adjusted automatically to an industry standard volume for dialogue. You can use the audio gain option in a sequence too. Select the clips you want to change and choose clip, audio options, audio gain, or you can only just right click on the clip and choose audio gain. Do not forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comment section. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. See you next time. Goodbye friends.